Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 22 and this is the final tutorial in my bootstrap series uh, and in this video I actually was just gonna say to you guys hey congratulations you finished bootstrap the end but I thought well why not end this tutorial off by just creating a, a simple page template or a page layout that you guys can then use in future. So uh, I'm actually going to be starting this tutorial off with the code from our slider. So if you finish the last tutorial, uh, then this is the exact code from there. Uh, we have a slider and that's pretty much all we've got on this page, right? Uh, but now I want to add in a few extra uh, elements. So what I'm going to do is just go over to the line number here in Sublime and these little triangles up here. I'm going to click on that and it's going to minimize that block of code. So my slider is still there, it's just hidden at the moment. It's just going to make everything look nice and tidy. Uh, great. So now that we've got my slider uh, set up and it's minimized, I want to add in a navigation. I also want to add in some page content a sidebar and a footer because every website you go to usually has all four of those things. So uh, we've got our, our slider over here but above our slider I want to add in my navigation and that is usually a header so I'm gonna add in some header tags here an ending header and uh, actually what I'm gonna do over here since we've already spoken about how to create a nav is I'm just gonna copy um, some code that I have and this is the code straight off the bootstrap website by the way uh, so that is a navigation inside of our header let me just uh, tidy that up a little bit and I think what I'm gonna do is highlight it all indent it so we can see where it all goes uh, and then I'm gonna minimize that so this is our navigation and like I said it is the navigation direct from bootstraps site so uh, I have explained this before but you guys can go ahead and copy that and paste that in there and uh, if you save this and then come back here and hit refresh you should see that we now have a navigation and we have a slider which is awesome uh, so from here I think what I want to do is then create another new row um, so let's create a div uh, and we'll give this a class of row and inside here I want to place two elements so I want to place uh, my sidebar and I also want to place my main section with all my content um, so let's go ahead and actually well I've actually got the code typed out here so I'm gonna copy this div and I'm gonna paste it in here and as you can see this is uh, if I indent this all a div that is set to take up eight columns so this is like our main section of our site uh, and I'm gonna change that from a div tag to a section tag and that is just to kind of help the website be HTML5 uh, friendly and stuff because I know a lot of people hate on me for calling something HTML5 when I don't use one of these tags uh, so yeah that is where you would place a section tag and it is going to be eight columns wide so if I save this and I come back here and I hit refresh you can see uh, I've got uh, my content over here and it is spreading over eight columns so uh, yeah <laughs> that's what that's there for um, and below this section I want to place an aside tag so I already have this prepared as well I'm just gonna copy it and paste it in here um, and yeah I know a lot of guys are probably gonna be really upset that I'm doing a lot of copy pasting uh, but again like this is just a heading and some paragraphs it's not that hard uh, or it's not difficult code, it's not code that we haven't learned before um, and yeah uh, what I can do now is actually just minimize that section tag just to make everything look a little bit tidy and here is the div that I just pasted in uh, so this is set up set to take up the remaining four columns out of my 12 so this one's 8 and that's 4 so obviously 12 uh, and I want to change the uh, tag over here because this would work a lot better 
as an aside tag instead of a div tag. So let's go to a side and a side. Uh, and yeah, this is our sidebar. And if you take a look here, uh, I've actually got two divs that are actually or have the class of panel and panel default. Uh, and these just have a heading or a panel heading and an image in the panel body. So if I save this now and I come back here and hit refresh, you can see uh, we've got a panel with a heading and we've got an image. And if I place some content in there and a link or something like that, then that's generally what you would have in the sidebar of your website. Um, and yeah, uh, from here, uh, the last thing I want to do is add in another new row. So I'm going to say div and I'm going to give that a class of row. And then I'm going to uh, end this row off just like that. Okay, uh, and let's create a paragraph in here. Well, we should probably create a column. Uh, so let's change this from div to footer with a class of row. And I am going to then place another div in here. Uh, actually, that's confusing, right? Let's, let's keep all the rows divs and inside here, I'll make this a footer. Footer, and we'll give this a class uh, of col md12. So it's gonna take up 12 columns. Uh, and let's actually make that sm. So it's gonna take up 12 columns um, on any device, so it's our footer, it's going to take up that whole bottom section. And all I'm going to say is, uh, and copy, uh, copyright 2015. And uh, if you guys are not aware what this does, it makes the little copyright symbol. So and copy. Uh, and I should probably put that in a paragraph because it's text. And we should probably also give this paragraph a class of text dash center. Great. And now if I come back here and hit refresh, I should have a footer that is centered and it just says copyright 2015. So yeah, that is pretty much how to set up a template. So yeah, I know I kind of ran through that a little bit quickly, but like I said, I do have tutorials on pretty much all of these sections and if there are something that I missed then you can also just copy the code from Bootstrap's website and I just wanted to give you guys an idea of like how simple it is to lay everything out I mean we really just went ahead and put in a navigation a slider a title a sidebar and a footer so five different pieces and we have our page set up right uh, and yeah I know looking at it right now it's not perfect like there is definitely some improvement that can be made uh, for instance we've got no space between the sidebar and our slider we also don't have any space above our menu uh, and so this is where you would probably link a custom style sheet and start styling away uh, and I've actually already done that in a previous tutorial I can't remember which one but I created a link to a custom style sheet um, and you guys should know how to do this already. So here is my style sheet and um, yeah, I can go ahead now and add in a class. So let's just say um, uh, my sidebar, my dash sidebar, and we will give this um, some margin on the top. So margin top uh, 20 pixels. And yeah, if I copy this class, and I go back over to my index file and I go to my aside, which is my sidebar, and uh, just place that as a secondary class and come back here and hit refresh. You can see that now my, my sidebar actually has a little bit of space between the slider and uh, the actual content, right? And we could do the same thing for the navigation and so on. And that's just how you would go about improving your site. Uh, you could also override some of the bootstrap default styling so if you wanted your sidebar or your uh, navigation bar to have a background color of black uh, then go ahead give your navigation bar a class and then just go start styling it however you would like it to look like 
Uh, and again, that stuff is kind of all out of scope of the series, so I'm not going to be covering it. But I really want to see uh, some work that you guys get done. So, uh, you know, send me links on Facebook, on Twitter, and I'll take a look at your website. And uh, yeah, that is all I have for you in this series. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like, and share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time.